Hello friends, this video on improvement in food resources part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Yes, we conclude, we will conclude our discussion on um, <coughs> crop yield improvement. Okay, so now we will start the next topic which will deal with animal husbandry because in this lesson we are going to talk about improvement in food resources. Now food resources can be from two major sources. One is the plant sources. So from which we discussed so far, this cereals, pulses and um, oil seeds, vegetables, fruits, they are all obtained from plants. But there are some food which are obtained from animals as well. The if people who are non-vegetarian, who, uh, who feed on egg, fish, meat, they, we obtain these kind of foods from animals. So now we will talk about animal husbandry, that how animals are taken care so that they can be utilized as a source of food. So what is animal husbandry? What does the term animal husbandry means? Now, human beings need animals as a source of their food. So they nurture them accordingly. For example, if, uh, if a person, if human beings feed on egg, so he has to take care of the bird who is going to give them the eggs. Right. So in animal husbandry, we will actually talk about the management of animal livestock, which would include any kind of animals and the management would include feeding the animal, breeding the animal and disease control. For example, if, some, if people, if human beings are feeding on um, chicken meat, Right? So they need to ensure that whatever they are eating is not diseased because if they feed on a diseased chicken, what will happen? They might get some diseases or if they uh, feed on uh, a chicken which was very weak and which was prone to diseases, even that can affect the human's health. Right? So in order to feed on animals, it is very much necessary that proper care is taken of that particular animal. So for that, you need to feed that animal properly so that the animal stays healthy. You need to take care of the breeding of the animals so that the breeding of the animals means the reproduction of the animals so that they reproduce in a correct way and give a product which is good. So you need to take care of their breeding as well and the disease control. The animals should not be diseased because if they are diseased, they in turn can cause disease when they are consumed by humans. So now human beings have always been the smartest of all animals and at the same time quite selfish as well. Now since human beings derive so many things, so many food materials from animals, so they have also started taking care of those specific animals in a very special way. So we will talk about those categories under animal husbandry. So we will talk about cattle farming, we will talk about poultry farming, fish production and beekeeping. So these are some of the things from where uh, human beings derive food. For example, when I talk of cattle farming, cattle farming would include cows, buffaloes, right? So we obtain milk, we obtain uh, um, not only milk but they are also helpful in agriculture. For poultry farming, we obtain eggs, we also obtain the chicken meat. Fish production, obviously many, there are a lot of people who um, eat fish because fishes are a very good source of proteins. Beekeeping because from bee honeybees we get honey and honey is again uh, an object of consumption for human beings. So these are some of the animals from which human beings directly or indirectly obtain their food and so they take care of them in a special way. So that is what we will see here that how they are taken care of. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.